Hi friends, today I wanted to tell you about what's called Simpson's Paradox. So this is a really important phenomenon to know about because it comes up quite often in data and it can lead to you making incorrect conclusions in your modeling. So basically what it is, is this idea that we might have a pattern within some of our groups, but when we merge our groups together, we find that the pattern either disappears or sometimes it can be reversed. So we have two main areas that this comes up in. One is regression, the other is means and medians. And I have a visual example here of each. In the first one, we have a regression. And we can see if we just look at the data overall, it looks like there is a positive trend. If we fit a line, we've got the yellow one in there, it is going up and to the right. But in fact, that is ignoring a very important covariate for these variables, which is education level. So if we fit neuroticism against salary and we control for the education levels, we actually find that within each of those three groups, there is a negative trend. So higher levels of neuroticism tend to lead to higher salaries. Uh, so if we were not looking carefully at our data, we could have quite easily missed this. And we could have concluded that in fact, higher neuroticism led to higher salaries rather than vice versa. In our second example, we have some median salaries there. And we can see that overall, there has been a decrease and yet somehow when we look at each of those groups each of the groups has increased and yet somehow overall there has been a decrease so if we think about what's happened here what has happened is that the relative proportions of those different groups has changed so even though each of the groups has increased in the 2013 data there is a higher proportion of those low income groups and so that is pulling that overall figure down even though within each of the groups there has actually been an increase. So anytime we're looking at means, particularly for overall measures, uh, we need to be thinking really carefully about what variables might actually be influencing a pattern in a different direction from what we have. And so the way that we avoid the Simpsons paradox, firstly is being by aware of it. And once we're aware of it, by doing a lot of data visualization and also just looking at our numerical measures, our descriptive statistics, thinking about our data and just exploring it really thoroughly. And that way we should be able to spot where we have these patterns that are going in the opposite direction.